over time, your body just gets used to, to having a good life. And instead of putting its efforts into surviving, it puts its efforts into growing and reproducing and making more fat and storing mm. things up for, for when times get tough. And unfortunately, in today's society, times really never get tough. We have to actively make our bodies do tough things uh, anyway. So, so we're, our lifestyle is killing us. And, and we now we know why. So what, what about these activators? How do you, if, if you don't want to run a marathon every day and if you're too sick to be on a treadmill, what are you going to do? Um, and, and not only that, how do you augment a healthy lifestyle with molecules? And what we've realized is that there are a couple of ways to do it. One is to boot, to boost up a, the levels of a molecule that we naturally make called NAD that the sirtuin enzymes need for activity. And the other is to ingest molecules that plants make to survive. Uh, and one of those that's become famous uh, is resveratrol that's from grapes and found in red wine in small quantities. And those are the two ways, and they work by different mechanisms. Uh, resveratrol is the accelerator pedal for these enzymes, and NAD is the gas or the petrol, the fuel. When we add both, sirtuins work even better. And so that's why uh, I've been on resver taking resveratrol and NAD boosters uh, for many years now because the science points to them being uh, additive in, in the body. Uh, so NAD is interesting. Uh, we learned about this in biology in high school and probably fell asleep. But the good news is actually that we, we've now realized that NAD isn't just part of biochemistry and the TCA cycle. It's actually important for survival as well. And the body through the sirtuins is sensing uh, the levels of NAD. And so levels of NAD will go up in an animal. And I, I think we've shown in humans now that when you exercise, when you're hungry, it goes up. And those are signals to the sirtuins that times are going to be tough. And so by taking an NAD precursor that like I do, and my father does, uh, my wife, my, our pets, um, mm -hmm. we don't think it's unsafe because this, this is a natural molecule that we make anyway, when, especially when we're young and we're fit. Uh, we think that we're going to trick the body into thinking that times are tough and that we're young again and stabilize the epigenome and repair DNA in a way that um, I used to when I was, when I was 20. Um, and uh, actually, you might be wondering how much does NAD decline between 20 and 50 years of age? And at least based on skin samples, it's about 50% decline, which is horrible if it's true. But it's pretty easy to boost up levels in, in people. We've done clinical trials now and others have done the same. And uh, doubling NAD levels is actually not that hard. One dose is not going to help, but over the matter over about uh, a week or two, uh, those levels go up. I haven't tested myself, though. I haven't uh, been uh, doing that. But, but in studies of dozens of people, it looks like the mouse results are pretty clear. And when sirtuins have more NAD, they're, they're doing a better job of stabilizing the epigenome and keeping cells' identity correct. And also having the energy to repair DNA as well and find their way back home.